Hey guys, we are at Lake Helen Casadega Cemetery in Florida and let's take a look at this fabulous urban legend called the Devil's Chair. According to local legend, this chair was built for Satan himself and the Prince of Darkness descends here every midnight. Now, if you dare sit on this chair anytime after dark, you will hear the devil whisper evil things into your ears. If you leave an ice cold beer on this chair, what's inside the bottle will be gone the next morning without the cap being removed. Now, if you are so bold as to visit the next day and sit on this chair again, you will see Satan appear before you at midnight within the next seven days. Again, these are all just unconfirmed stories that circulate among local teens. You can see that this is a nice cemetery, but if you look around, you will see three similar chairs constructed so it can get a little confusing to find the right one. But the devil's chair has some special features. One, the inscriptions on the tombstones that are supposed to face outside are actually facing the chair. This is very strange, but I'll explain this later. If you look at the other memorials, you will see that the inscriptions are all facing outside. The second feature is that you will see a lot of scribblings on this chair like Lucifer, Devil, etc. Now I've done some digging and found out the real story about the Devil's Chair. By the end of this video, I hope you'll agree with me that the real story of Devil's Chair is actually much better than the urban legends. In 1926, a 90-year-old man lost his wife and his unmarried daughter in a fire accident. He was devastated and when he built the memorial, he also built this chair so he could sit and mourn. In fact, chairs like these are found all over the Western world and are called mourning chairs. Unlike others who gradually move on, this old man would come in and basically sit here from dawn to dusk. The reason why he had the names carved inside is because he could look at them while sitting on the chair. Locals say that he had no relatives and lived alone in a big house, so he was basically holding on to his dead family members. As months went by, people started rumors about this poor old man and some people would even mock him. After about a year, on Halloween night, two teenagers spotted the old man sitting on this chair and crying. This happened about 11 o'clock at night and remember, Halloween tradition was just starting in the United States at that time. These teenagers thought the old man had lost it, so they contacted the police. But they were surprised to learn that he had passed away a few days before. So, what did the teenagers really see? Did they see the spirit of the old man still mourning? Or did they see the devil? I hope you like this video. I'm finding a lot of intriguing stuff like this. So please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon.